today we are going to talk about how to lay out a sprinkler system for your home or a project it's pretty simple uh, but it's important that you do it right so today we're going to look at choosing the right sprinkler head for the right area and the flow rates so that we don't maximize those zones too much and we have problems down the road so one of the first things you're going to need to do is find out how much water you have because if you don't know how much water you have you don't know how much water you can use so there's tools and gauges that you can buy for it, but simple way is to grab a bucket and a stopwatch. It can be any size bucket, one gallon, two gallon. We're gonna use a five gallon today and we're gonna use a stopwatch. We're gonna fill up that five gallon and time how long it takes to fill up a five gallon bucket. And then we'll do some math and figure out how much water we've got. So the best way to fill up a bucket is from the backflow itself. Unfortunately here we don't have a hose spigot so we can't turn it on but this is the best way this is the most accurate way if you can open this up and have the water flow into a bucket but today we have a spigot available and a hose this is going to work but this is actually going to be a little bit lower it's not going to be quite as accurate as using the backflow itself okay so we've got our bucket it's dirty that doesn't make a difference as soon as I start filling it up, I'm going to start the timer and we'll see how long it takes. So here we go. Okay, in time, we've got about 30 seconds to fill this five gallon bucket up. So now that we've got our five gallon bucket filled up and it took 30 seconds, we can use this to determine how many gallons per minute we have that's available for our sprinkler system. So 60 seconds in a minute, our bucket took 30 seconds. So you divide 60 by 30 and you get the number two. So then you take two, multiply by your five gallons, that's 10 gallons. So 30 seconds to fill up a five gallon bucket, divide 60 seconds in a minute by 30 seconds. That gives you two, multiply that by your five gallons, you get 10 gallons a minute. So using a garden hose, we get 10 gallons a minute. So let's say this is your basic layout. You have your house in the middle, front porch, big tree here in the front, and then you have some lawn, your driveway, little piece of lawn right here, fence, and then some lawn back here, maybe a garden. It's just a basic layout. Our water supply is over on this side at the backflow, and we know we're getting 10 gallons a minute. It's always better to go with about 80% of what you have. So we're gonna plan our system for eight gallons a minute. That's our goal. Okay, so now that we know our gallons per minute, we're gonna look at the sprinkler heads that we're gonna use. This is a Rainbird catalog, and one of the sprinklers we're gonna use is this medium-sized rotor. It's a 3500. These are great for most applications. And then if you look over here, and they have this online, this is a nozzle performance chart. So you have your pressure on the left hand side, the nozzle that you're going to use, how far it shoots, the flow, and then your precipitation rate. So we are going to design our system knowing that we have 35 PSI at our sprinkler head. So that means this gray area here across is the chart that we're going to use. So you can see here your nozzle size 0.75, one, one and a half, and so on. Those are supplied with the sprinkler head. Uh, they come in nozzles, a rack like that. Then you have your radius, how far that is going to shoot, and then your flow rate. Now this is very important when it comes to design is the flow rate. So we have 10 gallons a minute. So let's say, for example, the area we want to cover is 21 feet or 20 feet, somewhere right in there. We would use a one nozzle, the number one nozzle. And that tells us that no nozzle uses 0.92 gallons per minute. So that's a simple one. Let's just round it up to one. So technically, if we had 10 gallons a minute, but we only wanted to use eight, we could easily put eight of these sprinkler heads on one zone using this number one nozzle. So let's say we were trying to irrigate this lawn area around this tree here in the front yard. And our distance here is about 20 feet. 
So we want to make sure that we have head-to-head -head coverage. That means the sprinklers are spraying from this head to this head to this head to this head. So we put a head here in the corner like this, and we want to put another one down here like this. That means we have head-to-head -head coverage. So we can kind of preliminarily look here and see what that coverage would look like. So we'll get part of the tree there. We'll get to that head. We'll get all the way out here. We'll do the same thing with this head here, just to make sure. So we're gonna cover a lot of that tree there. It's not gonna harm it. So we've got a head here in the corner. We've got a head here in the corner. We've got decent coverage, but we've only got two sprinklers covering this area right here. So just to make sure we're getting nice coverage there. And we'll probably end up putting another one right here. But see this distance, won't cover from head to head if I put one in the corner. If I put one here, I'll get head to head, but then I'll still be missing this corner over here. So this distance is about 25 feet. So if we have a sprinkler head here in the corner, here in the corner, here in the corner, they're shooting about 20 feet. They're using a number one nozzle. We need to change the nozzle for the sprinkler head we put here. So we look back at our chart where number ones are gonna definitely cover the 20 feet, they're using 0.92 gallons per minute, but we need something that's gonna cover 25 feet. So this one here, this number 1.5, really only shoots about 23 feet. So we're gonna have to go up to the number two nozzle. It'll get 27 feet, so we know we're covered there, and it uses 1.69 gallons per minute. So in the left corner here, we've got a number two nozzle, and it's gonna get head to head shooting 25 feet, so we'll be plenty good there. It might shoot up onto the porch a little bit, but we can adjust that. So back to our chart, we've got a zone in the front yard. We know we've got three number one nozzles at 0.92, and we've got a number two nozzle at 1.69. We have three number one nozzles, which equal about three gallons a minute. Then we have a number two nozzle that is about 1.7, so we got 1.7. So we're only using about 4.7 gallons per minute on this front zone. So we've got our front lawn area here. We're gonna use rotors. It'll take four of them to cover that area. And we're gonna use 4.7 gallons per minute. That's a, gonna be a great little zone there. Now this area over here, this lawn next to the driveway is a little more narrow. So using the large rotors is not gonna make sense. So we'll use these pop-up sprays. These are very nice for smaller areas. You can use them in large areas. Uh, they put a lot of mo more water than the rotors, so they have a different chart. So looking at the catalog here, you can see the chart. This one has eight full, eight half, eight quarter. Uh, eight is the radius that it shoots out, and then full, half, or quarter is the area that it covers. So here we have the pressure indicated here, how far it shoots, and the flow rate. So let's use this to figure out our zone. So here we have eight feet. So we wanna make sure that we cover that head to head. So we'll put one here for sure, cause we know we're gonna need a head there in each corner to get us started. So my little sketch here uh, to cover the eight foot span, we've got one, two, three, four on that side, one, two, three, four on this side. So we have a total of eight sprinkler heads here of the pop-up sprays. Four of them are gonna be the quarters, one, two, three, four, because they're in the corner, and then four of them are gonna be the halves here in the middle. So we've got a total of eight heads, four of them are eight quarters, four of them are eight halves. So let's find out how much gallons per minute these guys use. So at 30 PSI, an eight half uses 0.52, and a eight quarter uses 0.26. So we've got four of these and four of these. So multiply this by four, you get just over one gallon. You multiply this by four, you get just over two gallons. So we do some quick math here. Looks like we've got about three gallons per minute. So this zone will use about three gallons per minute. Now, technically this zone uses three, this other zone uses 4.7. They could go on the same zone and they'd still be under eight gallons a minute. However, these put out more water than the rotors. So we don't want to mix those up because then we'd have either dry areas 
or extremely wet areas. So we've got two zones for the front yard here. So there we go. We have a very basic layout. We know what our gallons per minute is. We know what heads we're gonna use. We know what size nozzles we're gonna use. So now we can flag out the area and we can start building.